everything we've been going through the start of this season, this is the second time we've been to this property, so we wanted to get it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, the first time we came here, we just didn't have the time. We just were trying to get through things and just honestly just blew through them and got them done because we needed to, to get other things done that were more important at the time. I wanted to give you a quick tip here though. Uh, after winter, winter time, get the leaves up here onto the lawn and run your mower in reverse with the shoot blocker closed and it will mulch these things up to like nothing. They're ready to break down and yeah, look at it. because of the sun but a whole a whole half of the tree fell down there got to cut up there rock wall here there was just a pile of leaves that gathered there after we did our last cleanup last year for leaf season so I wanted to disperse them up here into the lawn and then just mulch them in after a good winter as long as there's not too much you can break them down without having too much residual so that's what we went ahead and did I think it turned out a lot better doing that got them out of the driveway yeah it looks really really good here don't got good sun for it but yeah No, that's a land. Uh, it's on the trailer. Right, Mrs. Cone? She's like, I'll be comfortable. Tell you guys a quick story. Anyways, real quick. Good morning, everyone. Good How morning. are you doing on this beautiful Thursday evening? It is absolutely beautiful. It's cold. Don't let that sun fool you. But no. it's better. <laughs> it's better than it's been the last two days. But it's going to be short-lived and... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, the next couple weeks does not look good for our area here in the Midwest. Absolutely. There is a lot of rain and a lot of cold. And I even saw a really good chance for some lake effect summer. Lake yes. Lake effect summer. Insane in the membrane. Yes. Anyways, quick story. You can go ahead and put that up, okay. TQ. I'll fill them in. Mrs. Cone one time, very recently, 
we took a trip to slay by engines and we got to our next you know next job and mrs coon decided to uh depart ways you know she uh she abandoned ship now that cone never moves okay i've been on the highway over the speed limit slightly and that cone does not move but somehow or another mrs cone bailed off the side of the trailer she's like Wee. <laughs> right <laughs> anyway we uh sent a message out to our friends because we didn't notice it till we got back about 40 minutes east to our job site and uh we said hey if you guys happen to see a pink cone out that way anywhere let us know sure enough noah comes back and he's like or mike one of them comes well, back and is like i think you said noah seen it but he didn't stop and get it but who would have thought mrs cone would have been out in wayne county or Dalton or wherever it right. came off at <laughs> anyways noah said i saw that i thought who else has a pink cone you know anyways mike newsbaum his family uh went and picked her up for us and uh they brought her back to us a few days later so safely and uh she tried to get away she did but she, uh, she wasn't good enough. Kinda I think like, we were abusing her too much. Could be. Broke her tip and everything. Could be. <laughs> Broke her tip. Right, you didn't know you were going to get the get your hops in, did you? You know, I, I, I might be a pro basketball player by the end of this, but I get a lot of questions on what trimmer and trimmer line we use. So this is the Steel FS94R. And on my trimmer, I have the Steel X line. This is one of my preferreds. It works out really well. Let's get to it. We run the Echo Black Diamond as well. Yeah. All right, we're gonna scratch this one. Try this one. Now this one has a black diamond. And the difference between the one I was using is the nipple is actually on top and the newer ones are up front. This trimmer is five years old, I believe as well. It just needs a tune up. That's like that, that's how it's supposed to happen. <laughs> and if you're wondering why it's different colors, TQ put like a sparkle paint on it years ago. give you guys a quick filming technique as well if you notice I try to stay out of the shot so basically I'm trying to film TQ without my shadow for example like I didn't stay on this side for very long because see me right there just kind of throws things off uh, doesn't make it look real clean not a big deal just something you notice after filming for a while so little filming technique use your uh, sun to your advantage so see I'm on this side here, got a really clean shot. I'm out of the debris line. Everything's going back into the property. It's called directional trimming. And TQ will go right on down the edge here. Now, for anybody that's wondering, you do not have to trim the black top like she's doing here. It's just something we do. We like the way it looks. And uh, yeah, it's just something we do. You don't have to do that though.
turned out really nice. Got a little bit more clean up here. A little bit of trash here, a couple sticks. the difference just in the sun you can't even tell there's a stripe in that lawn all right there you have it on one of the next one Good job, TQ. Thank you. Well, that looks good. Would you say you uh, mowed it at a three? I went three on it. Yeah, it looks good at three. The okay. backyard was a bit taller. I had to go over it a few more yeah. times. What a glorious, beautiful day to be out here doing some lawn care. Look how nice he was. I think that fertilizer really worked. Yeah, it's got a lot of growth on it. So this thing is tall, way taller than I expected. So we're actually gonna bag this one. Just make sure with certain customers, guys, like we know this one here, if we charge them to bag it, they know we're doing the best thing for their, their lawn. So, <laughs> There's a lot of grass on this thing right now and sending them that upcharge. Most time it's like 15, 20 bucks just because it takes a little bit extra time. Sometimes it's 10 bucks if there's not a whole lot, but it'll, I'll just make the judgment once we get done with how many bags we take off. Trying to play musical mowers though. Yeah. I can't film and back it off. I'm not that talented. Oh. Sorry. It's still pretty shiny. You gotta give it a wax job to get home later. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. I literally just said that. Wax on, wax off. been doing quite a bit of bagging today but I always like to before I get started make sure this chute is just open if you're gonna get any kind of clogging it's gonna be right here this one looks really really good though I mean it's it's dirty but expected it's not like plugged up though So we always get asked how much can it bag i did three stripes back here going all the way to the backyard and then across the front here it was actually taking off more than i thought looks really good show you guys how much i'm taking off now so a good way to tell is this thing here will spin so when it stops spinning, that means you're full. That bag feels pretty full. That bag feels pretty full. So let's go ahead and take a peek. 
yeah not completely full but close enough before i go to the backyard i'm gonna go ahead and dump here dump over the side and do it from the ground but I knew I was getting pretty full and I don't want it heaping too much so we don't lose too much until we get that part Let's check the specs. Good job. All right, I'm almost finished back here. So I figured I'd show you before I dumped real quick. So we took four total bags off of this property. Two on the front that were almost full and two completely full ones off of the back. This thing was tall and still quite a bit wet. Not what I like to bag, but hey, gotta get it done, right? So we have a piece all the way out back. So TQ went ahead and went out there and blew that off real quick while I just got us cleaned up out front here a little bit. This thing is popping. going on so I took it off the road today there's only a few different ways we can go that actually looks good because the way the house sits on the property it's kind of different so yeah everything's looking good
No molten at me. <laughs> We had a long day of work. Now we're at the ball field for Miley's game. Good hit. We hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.